Yeah. So I try to keep invites to, to, to a minimum a lot of the time. I, I prefer to have iftar at home a lot of okay. the time anyway. Um, Friday, Saturday, I stay awake, I don't sleep. Mm. Um, because I, I feel like I'm, I get part of that Ramadan mm. vibes and stuff mm. like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, iftar, I'm, I'm not a big fan of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of like trying to monitor what you eat in Shah Ramadan. I'm normally, you know, I'm normally quite strict of what yeah. I eat. Mm. Shah Ramadan, I just eat whatever I want. Okay. So I might have four crispy kins for Sahur one day. It just, mm. yeah, yeah. Have you done that? Uh, not four, but I've oh, been. Okay, but th does that mean you yeah. go back to your to, to your to your to, to your habits of like, like munching everything? Every, everything machine, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, down, down, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like it, you're like it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Is> it? <laughs> so I have like I'll go home now. I have like three toasties maybe. Really? But there's some things I have to have. So in Fatur, in Fatur, I'm I'm a big, you know, I'm a big fan of like not rushing, and I, okay. I try I try to always leave. So Sahur is very important to me. Okay. For the next day. So because a lot of people will, will miss suhoor and just wake up for salah and then go back to sleep, right? Okay. I have to have suhoor. If uh -huh. I don't, I get, I get tired. You've seen the difference. Massive. You've felt the difference. I okay. get tired and I get hungry and I get grumpy and I don't like it. Mm. So because I have to have suhoor, I can't eat too much at fatur. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't like to overeat anyway. So okay. my fatur is normally like... So like making space for suhoor. Yeah, a bit of yeah. shawarma, a bit of salad, a bit of protein, something like that. Okay. Something yeah, like yeah. that. So yeah. that's... So, okay. So, so you have to maintain the suhoor. Yeah. Um, Fajr, what time do you wake up to go to... to so, so just on the point of suhoor, there is... Someone gave me some advice, a doctor actually, many years ago. That's changed my life for suhoor. Okay. Which was to have a Lucozaid sport, huh. the isotonic drink. And I have a sugar-free one and I have one a day. So I stock up, I, st I bought probably... Do you genuinely feel the difference? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. In fact, so how, what day of Shah Ramadan? We're on number 12. We just started 12. Just 12, started yeah. 12. One of the days of these 12, my uh, Lucas 8 finished. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't have one. Okay. And I was, I don't know if it could have been a placebo, but the next day I was very thirsty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Salam <laughs> <laughs> okay. Abdullah. I was. And, and for me, look, the, the thirst and the hunger, I think all of us have probably been fasting since the age of what? 9, 10, 11, yeah. 12. Mm -hmm. My son's... MashaAllah, 11, he's fasting now, yeah? yeah? So I think the hunger and thirst you're, you're used to. The thing that gets me more than anything is, is, is sleep. Uh -huh. So I, I have to get up at 6 a.m. to get to work. Yeah? 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. to get to work. Mashallah. Maybe 6, 6.30 push, at a push. Yeah. yeah. So I leave my house at 7. Okay. Okay? So that means That's that early, man. it's very early. So yeah, that if, if Suhoor now is, or Fajr Adhan is at 4.30, yeah. let's say, that means by 4.20, I'm done. That means I have to wake up maybe 3.50. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have, yeah. I told you, I, ha I look after myself for yeah. support. Yeah. I make nice toasties. Yeah, yeah. I cut raggi. I make a chai. Oh, my breakfast. Lucas Aid Sport. Yeah, 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 I go for it. I go yeah, for yeah, every yeah. morning. Um, so if I do that, I have to wake up about 3.45. Okay. okay. <laughs> Pray, sleep. Now, trying to sleep after a full belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Lucas Aid and Reg is very difficult. Uh -huh. So I often toss and turn and try to sleep at 4.30. doesn't really work. So... But, but I have to, I have to get at something least in. Something. Okay. I have to. So some, like the other day, I slept at six. Slept at six. I slept at six. I couldn't sleep till six. Woke up at nine. I woke up at six thirty. Oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, okay. Half an hour. Half an hour. So I go into work at eight a.m. I'm fine. Nine comes. Ten comes. Eleven a.m. I it starts to dip a bit. I start to dip. Yeah. I start to like a little bit get a bit tired. So I've I've made a rule that I have to. Okay. I have I've been to waiting nap. for this moment. I have to know. Um, guys at the back, I beg you, please play this video. Um, <laughs> this is Hajj Haidar's uh, preparation, or this is his his place where he takes this nap. I'm gonna wait for. Look, by the time by the time they, they put it on, talk to us about this place. Yeah, so so basically, it's a sacred place. I have well. to sleep. Yeah. So I've I choose a meeting room. Okay. I book it out for 20 days. Here it is. <laughs> Here you it can is, see yeah. it coming on the screen. No, it's not. Oh, okay, it's not. <laughs> you can put it on the screen. So for 20 days, I book it out. Yeah, and no one asks you what's going on. Why you booked a meeting room for? I've told them very. They see my. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is so on talk the, us through this. This Your is blue socks. Yeah, blue socks. They're matching the suit. Yeah. So I've got a blanket underneath. Yeah. I've got a larger blanket on top because that covers my face to block out the automatic lights, <laughs> and I've got a pillow that has a very. Uh, <laughs> this is again. science. No, 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 no. Play <laughs> again. Play. That was a very short video. Play again. Play the again. The pillow again. has a material that's quite cooling, Mullah. There's no cotton way. pillows. This okay. is a bit silky. This one. Hey. Hey. Uh, you can't see on the table as well. I've got a uh, perfume there, and uh -huh. I've got my toothbrush, toothbrush. and I've got my uh, toothpaste, Crocs, because as soon as I... So I'll, t I'll tell you why. So I, I go in the room at 12. Okay. At 12.03, I'm asleep. You're asleep. I'm okay. asleep. Do you I've, put something in your ear? Quran, I've put du'a, the same du'a. thing for the last 14 years, yeah. which is Dua of Hamza Thamani by Maithim al Tamar. MashaAllah. And in the beginning, when he says, Ilahi... And he, by the end of Ilahi, you're... Ilahi, I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <laughs> sign to sleep. <laughs> I've uh, neurosensory programmed my brain. 
That's the time, sir. Conk out. And I wake up at 12.55. My lunch break finishes at 1. Yeah. And those five minutes, I quickly slip my Crocs on. I go, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, spray a bit of perfume, come back to my And desk. that's, it lasts you for the rest of the afternoon. That, yeah. one o'clock, I'm... You're ready. on it again. I can go to a meeting, I can have a call. I, I'm, I'm powerful at one o'clock. Really? Two o'clock, I'm good. Three o'clock, four o'clock, it starts to dip sure. again. Okay. Mm. Starts to dip again. 4.30, 4.45, I'm ready to sleep again. Fine. But I go home on the train. Yeah. I often fall asleep on the train. I have often miss my stop as I've well. I've seen that happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, before COVID, yeah. you were in the office five days a week. Yeah. Now, has there been a change with the whole hybrid yeah. system? Yeah, so we're like sometimes three days, sometimes four days. Um, during COVID, actual COVID, during Shah Ramadan, yeah. that was a very difficult situation to be in, having access to sleep the whole day. Because I would find myself uh, and certain members of the team as well would find them, yeah, would, 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 would find themselves just, just like, you know, it's 10 a.m. and you've dipped and you've fallen asleep. Yeah, yeah. And by the time you know it, it's, lunch is finished and your manager's trying to call I'm you. Allowed, and I'm allowed, like, I'm allowed, I'm allowed, I'm allowed, I'm Full of the whole day, the whole now. I'm really yeah. sorry, yeah. Haydar, but there were many days in Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. But you, you knew it anyway, and you did. You, you, Allah halal halal. Allah halal. Please halal me by the way. Halal me. Halal me. It's easy. Don't yeah. worry. It's fine. Halal me. There were days um, I used to sleep at ten. But yeah, I mean, like, even even on a Wednesday now, I'm working from home. Okay. So, so I have a meeting from ten to eleven. If my ten to eleven finishes at ten forty, that twenty minutes I'm resting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I put an alarm, and I I don't mind having a fifteen minute. For me, oh, okay. sleep is the only thing. I think of everyone, as long like the, the, the water and the food, the human body can deal with it. Without yeah. sleep, you can't function properly. Mm. Your brain doesn't function. So with, right, with yeah. all the brothers and sisters, if you have a job that starts early, you have to try to get to bed early. Mm. And that's, that's, mm. that's the only way you can do it. Really. Lastly then, Qadr nights, how do you, how do you deal with that? So, you just have to soldier it basically. Yeah, listen, I've, I've some, in some cases, I've taken days off. Okay. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, this year, Friday is the first Qadr night, which yep. means Saturday is the next day of recovery. Uh, the other Qadr night is Sunday, which means Monday is of recovery. And Tuesday is the last Qadr night, and I have work on the Wednesday. Um, uh -huh. So that's the one day that's going to be a little bit difficult mm -hmm. for me. But I'll try to stock up on as much sleep as I can during the day. And then, listen, the, wor the worst thing that happens is that at 8 a.m. you're very tired. Mm. But so I find myself some days going into work, looking forward to my nap. Huh. At 12 o'clock. Like oh, sometimes okay. my motivation to okay. go in is just for the, fully for the nap. Is my nap. I do enjoy it. It's I mean, very, you've made the whole bedroom there. You've yeah, it's very important. It's very important. There, was a, there yeah. was a guy today, actually, and it was 11.56, and he was in the room. Okay. Yep. And 11.57 Sorry. came. I started to get a bit stressed. Two minutes before 12 o'clock, he's still in my room. Okay. And as soon as it hit 12, by the second, I knocked on the door. And he looked at me. He's like, I'll be five minutes. I'm like, nope, I've got this room booked. Get out. Get out. Yeah. He's like, where have you got a book? <laughs> Showed him the calendar. It's a book. He's like, okay. okay. He got out. Good. Put my blanket. Good. That's That's good. There's That's been good. many, many uh, <laughs> a fascinating story for Hajj Haidar Thank, you, Thank so you so much. much for Thank us. you very much. La, it's an absolute been pleasure. I think it's been, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been very beneficial for the, for the audience as well, I believe. Um, I, 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 I don't think it's been that beneficial. La, 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 but hopefully been, they, 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 they take it. I think, as they, well. The Lucas yeah. is and the sleep. And the sleep. Those are the two things. And obviously being uncompromising when it comes to your religion. That's awesome. But that's all very personal. But thank you so much, Hajj Haider, for your time. Inshallah, we hope to see you more. On Maybe morning barakah, and um, maybe not Sahur special. On a Friday, Friday Saturday, I'm in. Friday, Saturday, yeah. in. Friday, Saturday. Oh, we might do this again, actually. <laughs> I love it. Uh, anyway, thank you, Haj Haydar. Uh, coming up after the very, very small break, we have Sayyid Saleh Al Qazwini on the line, talking to us um, about his insights when it comes to preparation for the month of Ramadan. Don't go anywhere, brothers and sisters. We're going to be back very, very shortly.
they ask, why has no other sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, O Prophet, the knowledge of the unseen is with Allah alone. So wait, I too am waiting with you. The awaited. In the shadows of chaos, a beacon of light. With faith as his armor and justice as his sword, he leads the righteous. In a world of darkness, he shines as the guiding light of truth. With every step, a new era of justice and righteousness. Join me as we uncover untold truths about the life and legacy of Imam Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadar exclusively on Imam Hussein TV. They await it. Since the start of... Oh, sorry. Welcome back, dear viewers. That's my bad. I was literally just telling... Uh, the video, I'm really sorry, it's very unprofessional. Okay, don't worry about the video. Uh, right, welcome back, dear viewers. Ramadan is typically one of the most busiest months for our speakers and scholars who have dedicated their lives to learning about our beautiful faith, digesting it, and disseminating it in a way that you and I can learn and better our faith in Islam. I mean, did we ever wonder, however, uh, what is the planning process for these international speakers? Do you ever wonder what goes through their minds when choosing certain topics? Well, we will reveal in this new exclusive new segment, Two Morning Barakah Speakers Insights. Today I have on the line, dear friend and international speaker, Sayyid Saleh Qazwini from Orlando, Florida. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyid. I hope you can hear me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ya ahla wa sahlan. It's very, very nice to see you, Sayyid. My sincere apologies for taking you out of your invite um, and taking time out of your busy schedule to speak to us. Thank you. No worries, no worries. Anything for you. Thank you very much, Sayyidina. So look, Sayyidina, I'm going to go straight into the first question. I mean, what, what are your plans for this Ramadan? Where have you been reciting and where will you be in the coming days, inshallah? Right now, currently, I'm in Orlando. I'm visiting the community here and speaking at Masjid al Hay. Okay. And um, it's a very beautiful experience. There's a very beautiful masjid here. MashaAllah, yeah. Um, I've been here and I'll be here for the next, the first two weeks of the holy month of Ramadan until okay. Monday night. And then ba after that, I will go back to my city and my community in Michigan, in Canton, Michigan, which is the center over there. You visited the community. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. So you're going to be, you're going to be doing the, the, the second two weeks in, in Canton. Yes, inshallah. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic, cool. Taqabal Allah, I'm Sayyidna. I mean, based upon really that, uh, what is your opinion on how the timetable for Ramadan has changed for speakers, including you, Sayyidna, uh, where you have, like, for example, 10 days or 15 days at one center or a different center afterwards? So from my experience, all I've done has been um, speaking 15, 15 days and 15 days. I haven't done the 10 day one. But I think it would be nice to try because, um, you know, being 15 days in one place might be a little bit too long or you're away from your family, mm. away from your kids. So maybe ten, speaking only 10 days in one place might be something nice, but I've never tried that before. What do you, what, what do you think about, um, you know, the, the, the age-old Ramadan experience for speakers who are at one center for 30 days? It's exhausting because you kind of run out of things to talk about. Okay. <laughs> but usually I see speakers when it comes to, if they're speaking for 30 days in one place, usually they might probably do tafsir of the Quran uh -huh. because the tafsir is always giving you something new. You're never running out of uh, information. You're always, you know, analyzing verses of the Quran. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, that's one thing that they could do. But if you're going to pick topics to talk about, Eventually, you might run out of some of the topics or you might be repeating yourself. So on, on that note, then, say in terms of the, the topics for this Ramadan, you know, how, how did you come to the decision to pick the topics that you are going to be speaking about uh, for, for Ramadan? What's the process of deciding? So I usually look at the community that I'm visiting and I speak with them before I go. What is the community needs? What's something that, you know, would be good for the community to listen to? And then I don't focus on one theme. I know some speakers, they pick one theme and they stick to it for the whole month or the mm. whole 10 days of 
Muharram. I usually, you know, pick some about a couple spiritual lectures, a couple historical, a couple, you know, contemporary topics, social topics. And, you know, that way, if someone got tired of one topic, then in a few days or tomorrow or the next day, you have another topic that you look forward to. Yeah, inshallah. Look, Sayyidina, I don't want to keep you much, much longer than that. Once again, really, really appreciate your time. Uh, and inshallah, our paths will cross sometime in the future. My salams to the Canton uh, community. And inshallah, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Sayyidina. Thank you very much for having me. May Allah bless you. May Allah accept all of your aman. Keep up the good work that you're doing. And everyone's watching you and everyone's proud of what you guys are doing. Thank you. Ajma, Thank you, Sayyidina. Thank you very much, Sayyidina. Our salams to friends and family. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was uh, Sayyid uh, Salah. Have you met Sayyid Salah? Yes. Oh, you He's have? come to London a couple times, yes. He's come to London, yes, yes he has. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of all the Qazwinis, have you, have you met most of them here? Uh, Sayyid Hussain, I believe Sayyid Hussain. Yeah, Sayyid Hussain. Yeah, old school. Then, including him. Uh, and Sayyid Murtad Qazwini, I think I follow. Have you met them? Yes. In Karbala, though? In Karbala, I think here once as well. Sayyid Murtad? Not Sayyid Murtad, sorry. Um, Sayyid Murtad is a dad. In Karbala, yeah, his father did his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, you yeah. meant say a doctor said Mustafa. Say Mustafa, sorry. The one My who bad. lives in uh, the one who lives in Los in Angeles. Los, yeah, if I'm not Los mistaken. Angeles, yeah, Los yeah. Angeles, maybe. Yes. Yeah, Orange County. Where's Orange County? Is that Los Angeles, LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LA. Uh, but look, it's been a, it's been a good episode so far. It was really, really fun with uh, yeah, Hajj Haider. Hajj Haider as workplace. well. Yeah. He's right in saying that a lot of the the the, the work uh, coming into the month of Ramadan, they prepare because. Again, I was in his line of work, and that's mm. something that maybe the viewers can take as well, in the sense that you do a lot of the, 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 the work load before Ramadan because you've got the energy to do yeah, so. Yeah. So that when it comes into Ramadan... You've got a bit more space of time to actually bit, rest. Yeah. And not, not just rest, but you've because you've done the... Like, for example, in, in, in our line of work, it was setting up meetings okay. with potential clients. Mm -hmm. And what we do in the months leading to Ramadan, we go absolutely crazy on the phone lines okay. to try and get as many appointments as we can in the month of Ramadan, so you don't have to have do to many calling, calling yeah, basically. to out like uh, make more appointments. You've got the appointments set in you your. You just need to attend these. You just need to attend these appointments. Okay, yeah, okay yeah, yeah. that makes sense. So I guess in your line of work is pretty much the same thing. You do a lot of the work beforehand. beforehand yeah. So yeah. you have a bit, slightly bit more free time to yeah. do, for example, after iftar or before. Iftar We're looking forward to Milad Imam Hassan coming up. Inshallah, very soon. Very what, soon. What, 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 what's the community events that we people can look forward to? Whoever is living in London and watching these events, what? what um, what events can people look forward to? Uh, there's a couple of events actually, inshallah, very soon. There's one actually tonight in Hyderi, South London, right now. Okay. It's a very big, mashallah, big lineup. Around nearly, I think, 34 people on one poster. 34, 34 people? 34 people on oh, one poster. Oh, the reciters one. Yes, the reciters one. Is that tonight, Friday? That's t tonight. It's probably finishing, just wrapping up right now. Oh, Friday, yeah. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday, right. Friday yeah, today. Yeah, 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 it's Friday today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. so they had, it's today and tomorrow, isn't it? I believe it's just tonight. It's just tonight. Just 30 tonight. reciters. From Maghrib Adhan, I think till Fajr Adhan, from how someone explained it to me. Wow. Mashallah. So it's a very active, you know, throughout London. Uh, and then the next upcoming one is in Rasul Adham, an okay. old English program. An English program? In Rasul Adham. Okay. Uh, inshallah, that will start with Futur. Yep. Uh, and inshallah, it will be on Sunday, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, inshallah. Uh, on Monday, there's one at the Khui Center held by the Aqua Foundation. Fantastic. And on Tuesday, I believe, there's a Rasul on the actual day of the Mawlid. Mm. There's more Rasul yeah, on other places, inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. I should also men men mention that Harak al will be doing one on Thursday because their programs are going to be Thursday. So I think Milan okay. al-Hassan yeah. on Thursday. I was waiting for as that for, <laughs> As for Morning Baraka, we have, we have a big program lined up um, for inshallah. Monday night. Um, we're going to get this fireplace behind Sayyid Yunus. Um, I think a lot of people have been looking at it. You know what? I'm really sorry. This has been annoying me this whole day. And I'm just going to leave it because we don't really need to make more announcements. Um, I'm just going to let go of it. Um, this fireplace behind me. Okay. We're going to make use of it um, to have like a live chai station. Inshallah. Yeah. I okay, don't know so if you're going to man it or someone else is going to man it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see I'd rather you were sat here, by the way. <laughs> not, not, not on the... I'd rather be there because it's much more warm, I guess. It is yeah, warm. Yeah, it's much more it warm. Is, warm. It yeah. is a lot yeah. warmer. It is a lot warmer. But um, that is exactly what is going to happen on Monday. We have a... Um, Milad Imam Hassan special coming for you on Monday. We have, if I'm not mistaken, Sheikh Ibrahim Ansari. We have um, Ayan, uh, brother Ayan Ali. Mashallah. We have, yes, yes, we have brother um, uh, Sohel Chohan's son. 
So okay. Herr Chohan is a uh, is a um, Urdu. He's a master of Urdu recitation. So his son is going to be there. I've forgotten. I've Mashallah. got the name. Uh, we've got Nayar Kazmi uh, reciting poetry, poetry as well. Poetry, yeah. So we've got two reciters. We've got a lecturer, and we've got a poet. Poetry. So hopefully this whole table or this whole couch area should Inshallah. be filled with the lovers of Imam Hassan alayhi salam because Salaam he deserves it. Imam Hassan alayhi salam deserves the the attention and the mm. effort to make sure that we uh, celebrate his life and legacy. So that inshallah will be Monday night, Tuesday morning. But before we go to the dua, I should uh, mention that this special set has been provided generously by Ocean Link Construct. Basically everything you see here has been designed and built by this local company who operate within the Greater London area. They have 35 years plus experience in design and planning and application, construction, extension uh, and full renovation. And this beautiful conservatory, which has been changed to an outdoor lounge, is just one of their many wonderful projects. Details are on your screen. Do contact them for further inquiries. Uh, and now lastly, we usually end the program with a specific dua from Dua as sabah However, throughout this series, we want to end with the specific dua of the day of the holy month of Ramadan. Today, as we entered into the 12th day, the dua is as follows. If I can see this well, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allahumma zayinni fihi bis-sitr. No, I can't see that, so I'm going to do this. Um, and then hopefully I can see it on my screen here, if this decides to work. There we go. So we say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allahumma zayinni fihi bis-sitr wal-afaf. Wasturni fihi bilibas al-qunu'i wal-kafaf. Wahmilni fihi ala al-adli wal-insaf. Wa aminni fihi min kulli ma akhaf. بِعِسْمَتِكَ يَا عِسْمَتَ الْخَائِفِينَ Which is translated to Lord, decorate in it with a, or decorate me in it with a covering and with honours. Shield me in it with the outfit of contentment and sufficiency. Enable me in it to be just and fair and bring me in it security against what I fear with your protection, O protector of the fear. And we leave you with the dua waqafal sa'ilun. The beseechers have stood at your door, recited by Hajj Amr al-Kawan. And on that note, dear brothers and sisters, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Inshallah, we'll see you same time tomorrow night on Morning Barakah Suhoor Special. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد إلهي إلهي وقف السائلون ببابك ولا ذا الفقراء بجنابك ووقفت سفينة المساكين على ساحل بحر جودك وكرمك ويرجون الجواز إلى ساحة رحمتي إلهي إن كنت لا ترحم في هذا الشهر الشريف إلا من أخلص لك في صيامه وقيامه فمن للمذنب المقصر إذا غرق في بحر ذنوبه وآثامي إلهي إلهي إن كنت لا ترحمه إلا المطيعين فمن للعاصين وإن كنت لا تقبل إلا من العاملين فما للمقصرين إلهي إلهي 
إلهي ربي حصائم وفاز القائم ونجا المخلص ونحن عبيدك المذنبون فارحمنا برحمتي وأعتقنا من النار بعفوك واغفر لنا ذنوبنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم برحمتك في الصالحين فأدخلنا وفي علينا فارفعنا وبكأس من معين من عين سلسبيل فاسقنا ومن الحور العين برحمتك فزوجنا ومن الولدان المخلدين كأنهم لؤلؤ مكنون فأخدمنا ومن لحوم الطير وثمار الجنة فأطعمنا ومن ثياب السندس والحرير والاستذرق فكسنا وليلة القاد وحج بيتك الحرام وقتلا في سبيلك مع وليك فوفق لنا وصالح الدعاء والمسألة فاستجب لنا يا خالقنا اسمع واستجب لنا وإذا جمعت الأولين والآخرين يوم القيامة فارحمنا وبراءة من النار وأمانا من العذاب فاكتب لنا وفي جهنم فلا تغلنا وفي عذابك وهوانك فلا تبتلنا ومن الزقوم والضريع فلا تطعمنا ومع الشياطين فلا تجعلنا وفي النار على وجوهنا فلا تكبنا ومن ثياب النار وسرابي للقطران فلا تلبسنا ومن كل سوء يا لا إله إلا أنت بحق لا إله إلا أنت فنجنا آمين آمين Imam Hussein Charity is giving you the chance to provide food baskets for destitute and impoverished families all over Iraq and Afghanistan. Each basket costs around £30, $35 roughly, and can feed a family of four. The food basket contains essentials such as flour, bread, tomato puree, oil. Um, they get different spices as well, salt, pepper, um, even, you know, like cinnamon. You get lentils. You get different vegetables, uh, meats, dates, tea, dried lemons, and not forgetting rice. Take advantage of this blessed month.